Hi, welcome again. In this live demo, I'm going to show you how to create Landscape Deformation support in Unreal Engine 5 with the help from OpenLand. So I'll talk about more couple of options here. I'm using the Virtual Height Field Mesh, but there are some other ways you can use this without Virtual Height Field Mesh if that's not what you really want. All right, uh, let's see how we can do this. All right, first uh, I have a landscape over here, uh, but I'm going to like I'm going to remove all the virtual height field mesh and the RVD related stuff so we can start fresh. All right, uh, now we have a fresh landscape uh, without anything related to RVD and uh, height field mesh, deformation and anything. So we can start fresh. And I assume this is a landscape that you're starting with. And make sure you are using open land as the landscape material. That's a must. You have to use it. Also, the, the landscape material should be open land uh, default, theme default. And then uh, you need to enable a couple of options. Uh, first, we'll go to edit, uh, project settings, and then you need to enable virtual texturing support in our project by clicking this checkbox. So this is a must, you have to do this. Also, you need to go to your landscape here and in the, from, the details, uh, from the outliner and from the details panel, you need to search for use dynamic a material instance so basically you need to enable this checkbox this is a must uh, this is how how we can communicate between the, the different manager and your have landscape so this is something you have to do right so then uh, we if you're using virtual height field mesh for the landscape deformation you need to enable that plugin as well go to plugins a virtual height field mesh so you can get this so this is something optional, uh, but you, you don't have to use it always. If you can always use normal based deformation, so if that's what you're interested in. Right. Okay. Uh, everything looks good. I'm gonna play my game, and uh, nothing really happens because we haven't done anything related to yeah deformation yet. Right. And you'll see a, a different textures here and there. That's because the uh, there's nothing uh, interesting because we are using the uh, OpenLAN RVT widget, uh, OpenLAN's uh, blue uh, mega scan widget. So, so this is something we have to do. Okay, so like this. So you don't have to do all this, but yeah. Anyway, so right, we can start. The first thing is go to OpenLAN directory uh, blueprints, and here go to the deform directory, and here we have something called OpenLAN deform manager blueprint class. Simply uh, drag that into your scene. So it will create an actor over here and you can see it from the outliner and we'll be accessing uh, some of these features, uh, some of these options. Uh, so make sure to like check out these things. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Right, and then uh, let me uh, play my character. Uh, let me play my game. So you will see something like this. So basically, you will see some some sort of like a landscape deformation happening here. This is just for the demonstration purpose. So we need to see uh, everything works. So here we do normal based deformation. So as you can see, so if you are, so it's 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 decent. Like you, you can see uh, quite uh, good in yeah. It's it's good. Right. Okay. Uh, then uh, so I need to have a real foot uh, path. So in this case, uh, here's how to do that. Uh, go to your character uh, content. It should be a third-person uh, blueprint in my case, but in your in your case, it could be different uh, character class that you have. All right, now I have it. We put over here. I'm gonna add two components into this foot, each and every uh, foot. So I need to collect. I need to click the mesh character mesh, and I can add. And search for deform so you have this open land deform component i'm gonna add it over here i'm gonna add another one for the my both of my foot uh, okay right now we have two of them but it should be the parent okay okay the parent of the, this component should be the mesh mesh right i'm gonna select one of them and uh, go to the socket uh, section on the details panel make sure to select one of the foot uh, foot r okay you'll see it connect okay you'll see it connected like this and make sure to like put some in the middle right okay and i'm gonna select the other one and i'm gonna select uh, from the socket foot 
or should be foot left maybe because yeah this one all right and i'm gonna yeah so you don't need to be exactly just go to somewhere in the middle right then uh, you have some options over here i'm gonna talk about that in a moment i'm gonna save for right now and i'm gonna play my uh, game okay now you can see we have put part but also we have this like the uh, yeah this uh, like larger area so that's for the demonstration purpose we don't need that i'm gonna go to deform manager and i'm here we have something called follow uh, player character i'm gonna uncheck that okay right i'm gonna play right now okay you have something like this but it's not just like a foot but you will see some it will like 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 <laughs> like like it's spilling like i don't know the word exactly like you can see it's not just a wood part like you can see a trail over here so it's quite easy to fix uh so the reason is here from the our components so we uh, define something called uh yeah called max depth so, so basically max depth should be the uh depth up from here to the uh the the curve that your depth you're making from your the footpath so here we define 100 centimeters with one meter this is too long so you can put some like something like 10 in this case but if you are attaching this component on a, maybe for example for a car so you need to change the size accordingly uh, from the uh, wheel to the uh, your flow so in this case it's quite closer to the flow i can simply set 10 centimeters it will get the job done right i'm gonna compile and save i'm gonna right now you can see yeah so this is exactly what we need so right now so this is pretty good so everything you can see here based on normals uh so we don't we can't see any actual uh actual landscape height changes you can see here but uh so the, this is the decent setup so you don't need to worry about virtual attitude mesh and the things comes with that, the problems comes with that. So this is okay for you. You can continue with this setup. And also if you want to like know about more about this uh, landscape deform component, I have a tutorial that I made for UE4. All the uh, things that I talked there is apply for here as well. Just go through that. I'll, I'll add a link in the description uh, for you to like uh, as a reference. Right. Uh, so now the form is working and I'll talk about some of the things now I'm gonna add, add the uh, virtual height wheel mesh support to this project so I can get the uh, virtual height wheel mesh deformation in this project so it's quite easy uh, go to the open land directory uh, content open land and here we have something called widgets uh, I'm gonna right click on here this widget open land RHF mesh widget right click run editor utility widget and make sure you select the landscape actor if that's not selected over here and you can simply uh, click this button add hf mesh support right i'm gonna so there are some instructions you had to follow uh, i'm gonna sh do it right now but uh, you can always uh, like go through these things it will guide you to like do that Right, and uh, the first thing is we have RVT volume height. I'm gonna select that and select the virtual texture as RVT open land height. There are a couple of other textures, but you need to select this one RVT open land height. And about the material, and you can select the RVT open land material. Right, then there's another act called virtual HF mesh. And here, about the virtual texture of the height field group, I'm gonna select the RVT volume height. Okay. Now, if you go to the uh, lead, uh, wireframe mode, you can see there are two meshes, like this is my virtual height field mesh, which is selected with this uh, uh, yellow uh, mesh. And there's another one for the uh, the actual landscape. So you can select over here, you can see that. But here, I should not uh, render the actual landscape. Uh, if that's the case, uh, it, it doesn't gonna work. So I need to hide the actual landscape. It's quite easy, uh, go to the, uh, landscape details panel and search for draw and here we have option called draw in main pass i'm gonna set that to never all right so i'm gonna go to the select mode again and so i'm gonna select the wireframe to lit 
okay then when i selected the uh, landscape i can see the board landscape and the height field mesh so as, as, you, as you can see from here but if i click some some other element from the details manner i can only see the virtual height field mesh okay this is exactly what we need right now uh, i can simply uh, play my game right now you can see deformation and you can see actual changes to your mesh so i think i can enable f1 f1 i guess yeah you can see the actual changes that we do to the uh the actual mesh like it's it's nice right and the reason why you should not use this because there are some flickering in some cases like in this case yeah you can see like there are if you go full screen and uh, there are some flickering so this is uh due to the rvt invalidation that we use uh so yeah that's something you have to think about also you can see the material is not exactly the same uh, because we are using rvt uh, cache rvt sampled uh, landscape material so and also the quality wise uh, there are some like upscaling happens if you are if you're using if you unreal engine 5 by default but if you're using rvt that upscaling is not available here so there are some things that uh, yeah there are something you can uh, Oh, yeah think about so if, if you're okay with that you can uh, continue to use this and it's just fine also there are some settings that i want to show you uh, about the uh, deform manager and the, there are some uh, deform inputs and there are something called like rvt invalidation threshold so you see some flickering and try to reduce this number to like let's say zero five or maybe just one uh like 10 millisecond uh, right where was i uh default manager and here 0.1 okay right so so what's happening here is like so this update my landscape uh this uh, changes to the mesh uh after every 0 0.1 uh seconds so if you're okay with that and this will uh, give you the good performance like there won't be any flickering most of the time so you can see a delay of like so so if you're fine with that you can always go with this all right uh and then uh, there's another thing that i want to show you uh on the uh terrain magic no sorry uh deform manager we i'm gonna put this into 0 0.05 also here we have something called deform fading i can enable that so what's happened here is i do some changes but so they're gonna like fade away uh yeah after some time so if, if you are interested in doing that uh you have that option right and you can control the speed from here we have some called fade percentage i can put a value like four so then it will like it will fade quite uh faster like this right like this uh so that's you something you can uh, play with uh to understand how things work right now we uh know about the uh, deform basics how we can enable that and let me show you some settings in the material so you can tweak them all right i'm gonna hide the uh, deform fading uh, fading i don't want it right now all right now let's open the landscape material in this case i'm going to select my landscape and this is my material right i'm gonna open that right and search for deform there are some settings so here uh there are some layers in open land so material layers so these are not paint layers the material layers and here we have sand custom one puddles ground and so on so here uh, we are on the sand so here this will create a like a 15 centimeter like uh, depth of uh, deformation okay hand sand and here about the ground we set to zero so there won't be any changes on the ground so i can show you over here so let me uh, place my character over here right there won't be any deformation but as soon as i go into the uh, sand area so let's wait a little bit 
you can start to see some deformation see so it's gradually increasing uh, and yep this is this might be the exactly what you want uh, but if you you can also have the ground based deformation as well it's quite easy uh, basically uh, select this ground and set a value like let's say 20 uh, okay then I can play my you see now I'm deforming uh, my ground texture as well which is kind of like I don't know maybe I can set a value like let's say that's just two centimeters yeah oh uh, still yours yeah I changed the diff wrong one it should be here okay, two centimeters then uh, you can see some subtle changes yeah yeah you can uh, you can uh, try experiment with that one this is uh, what you want uh, here we have some options for the uh, custom one and custom two layers as well but if you are use some other custom uh, like layer and uh, here's how to like add that support I'm gonna show you how to do that I'm gonna open the uh, master material right and here we have a call uh, deform uh, apply deform or something not like yeah we have something called mf underscore all handle deformation this is everything deformation related is happening so you need to like customize this one in order to add custom features so my recommendation is like try to duplicate this one not from here uh, from the uh, actual material or function location over here I can click the location over here and uh, you can uh, right click and create a duplicate and use that instead of this one so then uh, if even if you do update the open land if you get an update from open land uh, so you want so you won't be able to like you will be able to use this without any issues so uh, try to see our modular development guide uh, from our open land documentation so it will clear you, uh, this, uh, clear these things for you right uh, about the changes that you have to go i'll uh, go inside that the duplicated one and here this is how it works so we have a sand and like this and we multiply and put that into a like uh, operate open land de deformed data so this is the core functionality how we can get the deformed data into the material uh, i have a, a tutorial on that i'll add a link in the description below so you can try to use this for a fresh uh, landscape material so it's totally possible to use this uh, uh, other landscape material other than open land so if you're use, simply using open land if you want to add a new uh, and if you're using open land if you want to add a new uh, like a layer pair material layer it's quite uh, easy uh, or, or uh, landscape uh, layer uh, actually i earlier talk about the material layers but this is paint layers actually so just that's something i need to correct so here you can select sand and simply give it another name so th that will be the, the the landscape layer so you can simply add that one uh, so then it will add the deformed support uh, here also you can like duplicate this if you're using all of these layers you can simply duplicate this and uh, and create a new one so if you simply like go through these wires and you'll understand how things are works so it's not that complicated so ultimately uh, what you have to do is uh, you need to set a mask to this uh, open land deform data uh, function and also you need to set a max height so you can like this is how we uh, derive that using this yeah you will understand simply go through this one all right now we know how to work with the material and uh, yeah uh, i think uh, this is it uh, also i haven't talked more about how to customize the brush and everything uh, because we have a tutorial I made for UE4, you can simply uh, reuse that. Uh, all the things will be uh, usable. Uh, I think I explained how uh, most of the things works. Uh, so uh, let's see you with something interesting. Bye.